Hello there and welcome to SNMB Academy. In this presentation, I'll be showing you how to factorize harder quadratic equations. So, in front of you here, you have 2x squared minus 3x minus 5 equal to 0. So, let's just identify our three terms. So, looking at our first, we have 2x, so that's my a. So, a equals to 2. My second term is b that's minus 3 so b equals to negative 3 and lastly is my c which is a negative 5 so a equals to 2 b is minus 3 c is minus 5 so working out our two numbers that are multiplying so a c will be the two numbers that are multiplying to give me a number and then I have to give me another number so two numbers that are multiply will be 2 multiplied by minus 5 that would be negative 10 and the number that will add is going to minus 3 that would be my b so we're having two numbers that are adding uh, sorry multiplying to give me minus 10 and the same two numbers that are adding to give me a minus 3 so the first thing like we already learned before is that we will be looking at the factors that are going into minus 10 so factors of 10 so that would we can have the pair as let's just leave the negative so let's just have 1 and 10 we can have 2 and 5 so two pair of two factor pairs that we can have that gives us a 10. So an add to also give us a 3. 1 and 10 doesn't give us that. 5 and 2 does. So we know that our numbers would be 2 and 5. Now we just have to look at the signs. So we know here by looking at it that multiplying would be a negative 10. So that means one of my numbers over here from 2 or 5 needs to be a negative because a positive and a negative number will multiply to give us a negative so one of these numbers have to be negative so either you can have minus 2 or 5 or you can have 2 and minus 5 either one of these two terms would be uh, sorry the pairs would be the answer now minus 2 plus 5 gives us a, a positive 3 so we need a negative 3 so therefore it's going to be the second one 2 and minus 5 because 2 plus minus 5 will give us a minus 3 and 2 multiplied by negative 5 will give us a negative 10 so therefore it would be a positive, five, uh, positive 2 and a negative 5 so breaking our mid, uh, the minus 3x into these two terms so let's just rewrite this equation so that would be 2x squared plus 2x going from here and minus 5x and minus 5 give us it a zero so zero is just there to solve if we are solving the quadratic equation we're just factorizing now so let's just get rid of that to not to avoid any confusion we're just factorizing for now okay 5x minus 5 here we are so now making our pairs we can have one pair uh, starts with one pair and minus 5x minus 5 is my other pair now factorizing the first part what's common between 2x squared plus 2x 2 is common and x is also common this is 2x now 2x times what gives me 2x squared that's just x and 2x times what gives me a positive 2x will be plus 1 minus What's common between 5x minus 5? The 5 is common. Open bracket. Minus 5 now times what gives me minus 5x, just x. Minus 5 times what gives me a minus 5 would be a positive 1. And again, inside the bracket, I have the same expressions. So my two brackets I have would be the insiders, that's x plus 1. And my outsiders, that's 2x minus 5. So, nice and straightforward, we just have to, you know, just look at our terms. Now, let's just scroll down, have another question here. Let's just have a look at this question. Now, 
this question again let me just take away the equals to sign so again exactly the same thing let's look at our three terms so we have 5x squared that's my a a would be 5 looking at our second term b is minus 13 and my c as a positive 8 so two numbers that are multiplying to give me a number that would be a times by c gives me 5 multiplied by 8 40 and two numbers that add to give me a number minus 13 so again we are finding now two numbers that are multiplying to give us a positive 40 and adding to give us a negative 13 so we find the factors of 40 so we can have 1 and 40 we can have 2 and 20 we can have 4 and 10 we can have 5 and 8 so these are the the effective pairs that we can have so which one are we which one are we looking that we can get 13 so by the looks of it we are going to go for 5 and 8 because 5 plus 8 can give us 13 just forgetting the negative for now and the multiplier to give us 40 so the pairs would be 5 and 8 now we need to consider the signs so 40 by multiplying the two numbers we should get a positive 40 which means either the two numbers would be both positive or both negative so but if they're both positive then that will add to give us a positive 13 however we need a negative therefore both of these numbers 5 and 8 would be negative so that means my minus 13x will break down into minus 5x and minus 8x. So let's just rewrite this again. So that will become 5x squared minus 5x, getting from here, minus 8x and plus 8. And breaking our pairs down into 2, we can make this up here. And we can also make minus 8x plus 8 up here. Now looking at the common terms in here, 5x squared minus 5x, 5x is common open bracket 5x multiplied by all gives me 5x squared just x 5x multiplied by all gives me negative 5x is negative 1 and then minus okay minus so 8x plus a what's common in there 8 x is in common because x is in here open bracket minus 8 multiplied by what gives me minus 8x just x minus 8 times what gives me a positive 8 just minus 1 so again inside the brackets are exactly the same so my two brackets are going to be the outsiders 5x minus 8 and the other bracket would be the insiders x minus 1 so there we have it very nice and simple